Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia, and today I thought I would film with you, or this weekend, I thought I would film with you a weekend in my life video and just kind of vlog the different things that I do this weekend. So today it's Friday, I thought I would start this one today. It's like one-ish, and I just got home to a package, and this is the same package I was talking about in my last video that I kind of hyped up a ton and then it never actually came. So it came today and I'm really, really excited for it. So I thought I would unbox it with you to kind of start this video. And I thought it'd be a good weekend to film this video because I have a few things going on and it's Mother's Day on Sunday. So we have a cute like little brunch plan for that. So I thought I could film that and film like the brunch spread that we make and then also like my outfit for that. So I just thought it was a fun weekend to try and do this video. So I just took the sweatshirt that I bought. So it's a sweatshirt, just took it out of the bag. So it's this local optimist hoodie from Mad Happy. Um, I got it in a size extra small. I haven't tried it on yet, um, but I'm really, really excited for it. It is just like this, um, like this big fluffy sweatshirt that says local optimist on it. Although I'm, hmm, now that I'm looking at it, like it doesn't look like it's that like well made. And like I got it and it's already like cracked. If you can see that. Right there like see how it's already cracked well I guess I'll try it on and then make my decision if I keep it or not but um, this was $165 which is kind of a lot but their sweatshirts are really really nice but that's the only reason why I'm kind of like hesitant to keep it now because it's already cracking so I don't know if it's gonna hold up like a sweatshirt this much should oh my god the head hole is tiny the head hole is so small so it's just this like big oversized hoodie. Um, I saw this hoodie all over Instagram and I thought it was so cute, but it went out of stock so fast. But now I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it. I don't know. I think it's cute, but I think the fit is a little bit weird. But if I tuck it in like that, it's cute. So we'll see. I'm gonna ask for the verdict of a couple other people and then make my decision on whether or not I keep it. But the like sweatshirt itself is really nice material. I'm just a little bit disappointed with like the lettering but we'll see if i'll keep it we'll see so right now um it is 1 30 and i am going to head to whole foods i have to get some groceries for the weekend um and so i thought i would film that also like a grocery haul when i get back from that for you all and then yeah we'll see what else we do today but i mean i think the sweatshirt's super fun i just think it's weird that it started cracking so right now I'm going to get changed and then I'm going to head to Whole Foods. So I'll check back in with you guys when I get home from that. So I'm in my car now. I'm getting ready to drive to Whole Foods with my mom. Verdict of the sweatshirt is I'm returning it. Um, I know it's another super anticlimactic unboxing, but I'm just really not happy with the quality of it. But I'm going to send it back. Um, it's just not for me. And I'm just going to get a refund on it. I don't think I'm going to exchange it for anything. So I just wanted to update you on that. And then I don't think... I was going to get a coffee at Whole Foods, but I don't think I'm going to get one anymore. Um, but I have my Lysol wipes, my mask, and I'm all set to go. And I think we're going to do, usually every Friday, we do like a wine and cheese platter night. So I think that that's the plan again for today. So I actually need to text my sister, um, make sure that we have, I only like brie cheese. So when I say it's a cheese platter, it's only brie cheese on the platter and like little like crostinis. So that's our cheese platter. So it's just like a nice little way to wrap up the week. So... I attempted to go to Whole Foods and it failed because there was a like 60 person line out the door and all the way around the corner onto like the main street. I just decided I think I'm gonna wake up tomorrow really early and go to Whole Foods then. Right now it's like 4.45 ish and I think I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit of a like Pilates workout but that's what I'm up to right now and then after I'm going to head downstairs um, for the cheese platter that we're going to have. So that's my plan for right now. And I will show you the cheese board when we make it. But right now I'm gonna go work out and then I'll talk to you guys after. So I am back in my room now. Um, we had the cheese platter, which you would have seen a little bit of footage from. Obviously my sister was the one who kind of like designed the tray because if it was me, it would not have been on a piece of parchment paper with a Christmas tree as a cheese knife, but whatever, it still tasted good. And now it's like nine-ish. I think I'm gonna put a hair mask in and wash my hair because I'm getting ready to fake tan tomorrow. So I like to wash my hair ahead of time so that I don't have to wash it and then it like drips down on my body and ruins my fake tan. So I'm going to use this Kerastase hair mask. It smells super great and it's super great for people who have like any damaged hair. So I have like some heat damage 
on my ends that I like to treat. So I basically just put the mask in through my ends and then wait like 20 minutes and then wash it out. So I'm going to pop it into my hair. I'll do that with you guys actually right now. I just basically take this with my fingers and then I just basically run it through the ends of my hair. And then once I have the ends covered, I like to also do a little bit on these front pieces of hair too because I find that those take a lot of heat damage um, because those are the parts that I curl. And then once that is in, I just kind of slick myself down into a low bun. And then right now I'm gonna clean my room. So there's that all finished. And then after um, I let this soak for like 20 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna go hop in the shower and rinse it out. Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday morning. I don't remember when I came on to talk to you guys last last night, but it's now the morning time, and it's like 9-ish, I think. I woke up at 8.30 and then made some lemon water, which I'm drinking right now, and I'm getting ready for my workout today. Um, I woke up. I don't know if you can see outside, but it's snowing, so it's snowing in may um but today basically i'm gonna try and go to whole foods today again and even like if i have to stand outside in this weather i still think i'm gonna go because i really want to get stuff and we have to get flowers from mother's day and i always buy my flowers from whole foods so i think i'm just gonna go tough it out and if i have to stand outside in this wintry mix i have to stand outside so i'm going to sit here and drink my lemon water and kind of plan out the things i have to do today then i'm going to work out and then get ready for the day and then go to whole foods so i will probably jump back on here when i'm getting ready um when i'm like doing my hair and stuff and then i'll give you guys a little update then except i'm not gonna make any promises about whole foods because i feel like this vlog i did my unboxing which failed i tried to go to whole foods which failed so no promises here so I thought I would come on here and show you my outfit before I left. Um, so I just have on my a goldie denim with Supergas because it's snowing. Um, and then um, the same hoodie as yesterday and just this long black coat, which I can't decide if I want to wear this one or a puffer with a hood. But I think it might bring both and then depending on the line outside, I'll decide what jacket. So I'm going to head to Whole Foods right now. And then I'm also going to stop at like this donut shop and pick up some donuts for tomorrow because it's Mother's Day. So I'm going to go to Whole Foods and stop there and then I'll be back. But I'll definitely do a grocery haul barring I get in. I'll show you the donuts as well when I get home. So I'm going to go make a coffee I think to go and then head on out. I just thought I would show you a better angle of the snow. This is actually ridiculous. The flakes are huge. So... Whole Foods was a bust again. I guess I'm just gonna go sometime like midweek at like the randomest time and that's even if I go back to Whole Foods because Whole Foods is only letting like five people into the massive store at once. So like the parking lot has like 20 cars in it but there's like a 50 person line. Well, I'm just confused as like their method for letting people in but I'm just gonna go back another time. So we did get the donuts though. I'll put a picture of the donuts on the screen somewhere because we like wrapped them up because they're for tomorrow for mothers you can't pick them up tomorrow so we picked them up today and i'll show you tomorrow um the donuts and kind of like the spread that i make but i'll just put them on the screen for now so you can see them but happy that worked out it stopped snowing luckily but my mom and i did wait in the whole foods line in the rain and the snow for like 20 minutes and we didn't move at all so we're like we can't wait we can't do this so we decided to call it a day that was that but right now i'm downstairs painting stuff for poe and co that's basically my plan for the rest of the day i have to fake tan and film a video of that um to post and send to the brand for them to approve it which is really really exciting so i'm gonna do that at some point today so in the later half of this video i'm gonna be very tan and then tonight i think we're getting like takeout pizza for dinner so i think i'm gonna make something else because i'm not really feeling pizza tonight but we'll see what happens with that so i just made another cup of coffee and I'm just kind of sipping on that and I'm just going to head downstairs and finish painting. So I will update you. Oh, I got some stuff in from Nasty Gal. So I thought I would show you guys that a little bit later when I come back up. So right now I'm going to end this and then I will come back and show you everything. Hello everyone. So it is now 6.45. Um, I just ate dinner. I had Chinese food for dinner and it was so, so good. I love Chinese food. It's like my guilty pleasure. So right now I thought I would do, I just put on a fresh layer of fake tan. Whoa, it's very sunny in here right now um i just put on a fresh layer of fake tan and so i'm just letting this sit overnight i filmed a video on it which i will share with you guys hopefully around like this week next week maybe but i want to show you something really exciting that came in the mail that i talked about in my last video that i really wanted to buy so my tom ford coffee table book came in the mail it's actually massive 
I didn't really read the dimensions on it, but I did not think it was this big. But it's huge. And it's so heavy, I can't even, like, pick it up. Because it's so heavy. But I'm going to take it out of this plastic wrap and go through it and look at everything and then I'm gonna find a place to style it and put it in my room but I'm really really excited that it came so fast it came a lot faster than it was supposed to be delivered like two or three days faster and it's just beautiful so I think I'm going to open it take some pictures of it and figure out where to put it in my room so I have had such a crazy day I literally have been running around all day just like always kind of like I felt like I was like a step behind what I had to do all day long and everything kind of went like awry and nothing really went as planned so um I'm back in my room now I really need to clean up because I literally have I'll show you a couple things I got today so I showed you the Tom Ford book already um and I just want to show you like how big this is I did not, I didn't read the dimensions like I said, but I did not think it would be this big. So, crazy. And then also I got these little hair clips that I can't remember if I showed or not. But just like these little hair clips that um, like you get ready with so that they don't crease your hair. Um, I found this like 8 pack I think, 6 pack? Yeah, 6 pack on Amazon that had black, white, and then pink and they were like $4. So, I bought those and those came in today. And then also, I got this Nasty Gal set in the mail that I ordered, and I love it. I love the top so much. It's like just this balloon sleeved sweater. I'll do a better try on for you, but just this um, like cropped sweater with balloon sleeves. So love that, and it came in a set, and I was really excited for the set. And I ordered a size small because that's the smallest size they have, but the pants are touching the floor. And they come up to here. But I really like them. And you can't like beat the price of Nasty Gal stuff. So it doesn't even make sense to return it. Because I love the sweater. And I think this set together was like $35. So it doesn't even make sense to return it. So I'm going to um, FaceTime my seamstress. And pin the pants up to where I want them to be. And then she is going to fix them for me. So that I can wear them. And so that they're a good length on me. Because I don't know who these are fitting. Not me. And then it's nice because I also have like a drawstring waist. Um or like a tie waist you can tighten it so right now i need to i just need to clean i have stuff everywhere so i think i'm gonna put on a little time lapse of me cleaning and get all that done right now <laughs> Sunday um, I just popped all of the tie-dye that I did yesterday my voice is really hoarse right now for some reason but I just popped all the tie-dye that I did um, yesterday into the wash so that I can paint a star on it later um, just so I can go downstairs and start you know the preparations for Mother's Day so I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup for that and then I'm going to head downstairs and start cooking. So I think my plan for today is first I'm gonna go downstairs and make a big pot of coffee uh, for all of us to have. And then I think, I think I'm just gonna start with the waffles. We're having two different types of waffles because my mom makes a really good waffle recipe that like my little brother and my dad and my grandmother like. And then I use one of Kenzie Burke's recipes for like this like oat and chia waffle. And that's one we like. So I'm gonna make that one. And the regular just like normal waffle recipe that she usually makes so i'm gonna cut i'm in my tie-dye outfit little set and i'm going to um cook in that i think and then i'll change into something you know a little bit more appropriate for the day these clips are so cute they match my outfit today i have like a dry patch of skin right here my fake tanner kind of clung to that and now it's making me look like i have like a fake tanner mustache great great so at some point today, we're going to go for a walk, and that's going to be my exercise for the day because it's a really, really nice day out. Blue skies, the sun's out. So that's going to be our plan for later, but I think we'll eat first. Okay, so that's it for my makeup right now. First, I'm going to put on some of this Summer Fridays um, Lip Butter Balm. This stuff is great. Would highly, highly recommend to anyone who's in the market for really good like lip balm or lip mask. Um, but I'm just going to head downstairs and kind of start cooking. Oh, and we have the donuts that I bought. So there's going to be a lot of food. But I'm excited. It's going to be cute. I will fill you guys in when things start to come together. So I thought I would come on here and show you my outfit for today. 
So I'm wearing this off the shoulder free people shirt, this anthropology belt, my A Goldie jeans, and then my Gucci loafers. Um, this is like exactly the type of outfit that I bought these shoes to wear with. So I love this outfit and I thought it was just like a really fun springy outfit to wear for brunch today. So, so we just finished the breakfast setup for today. So we made regular waffles and the healthy waffles. You can tell which ones are the healthy waffles because they look a little bit sad. But then we have the donuts and then coffee and right now we're just setting the table and then we're going to eat. So it's a little bit after dinner now and I was in my basement today and I found this little tiny like handheld Dyson vacuum um, that was just sitting down there in its box. So I have been charging that and I think I'm just gonna go around my room and vacuum the entire thing. My other Dyson vacuum, like my big stick vacuum, is at school still in my dorm room so until i get that back i'm just gonna use this little one and use it to kind of like go around the baseboards and stuff and just kind of like give my room a deep clean right now because it's sunday and that's kind of the day when i do the most cleaning and i've been looking for a vacuum cleaner because the other one we have is like super bulky and really hard to bring around the house so i found this little mini one that i've been charging all day so i think i'm just gonna go around my room really quickly um i did change my outfit a couple times today just because i was doing different things and you know i had my brunch outfit and then I had to tie-dye some things and then I went for a walk so we kind of have like a ton of clothes just laying around so I think I'm just gonna tidy that up again and I'll go grab the vacuum to show you so here's this little thing that I found I have no idea what like model it is I just know that it's super small and it has a ton of attachments for the top and like this thing slides up so you can go along the baseboards and it just has has like a really long stick that I thought would be good for like getting underneath my dresser and I just thought it was so cute and tiny, and why not use it in here while I'm waiting to get my other vacuum back from school. That's what I'm gonna do right now, and I will check back in with you guys later. So it is now Sunday night, it's kinda late. I'm just sitting down and kinda like going through Instagram, going through my phone, and I'm watching Netflix, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy again. But I thought I would end the vlog here just because it's the end of my weekend and tomorrow's Monday. So we're starting all over again for a new week. So I'm just going to end off here. But thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And follow me on Instagram. And I will see you all next time.